Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny, Queen Sugar, Season 4, Episode 8, All the Borders. That's coming up next. opening scene shows Charlie in dismay after finding out about her meal burning down and she is a mess. All of her feelings are a mess. She goes up to the meal and sees everything just completely destroyed and she's zoning out until she feels the touch on her shoulder from either the fire marshal or just a firefighter and he says look none of the alarms went off we didn't get a warning to show up and charlie's like whoa like we made fire code and everything in the mill works properly and we have like the proof that everything's good like why didn't we get an alert and why didn't you get an alert and he basically says hey we see these certain things and we have drawn a conclusion that this was an act of arson so of course they have validation from the fire department all of a sudden we see nova pull up and of course she's just like i came as soon as i i heard and ralph angel and charlie they look at each other like really 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 like why are you here and charlie wasn't having it she says look not now the nerve of you you can't be here and i <laughs> I agree with her. What an odd time for you to show up and show your support when you still haven't come to the conclusion that your book was wrong and you did us wrong. You haven't even given us time to heal. Boo, I'm not trying to hear that. So she walks off. So we cut to Vi's restaurant with the long ass name. And of course, Sam Landry just floats in and she's just like, well, look, you know, basically saying, um, I can't believe you would do something like this as far as to burn down the meal and he says you know what that wasn't me I told you that you know it's other people involved in this and she says you know what I'm gonna use my favor and I'm gonna need you to check any dogs you line with and put them back on the leash and I found that very interesting how did I learn or earn this favor of hers. What did Sam and her have back in the day to have a favor from Sam Landry? I thought that was very interesting. Charlie goes to see Frances and she is so upset. You could tell she wants to leap over her desk and punch her in the face. And Frances says, whoa, before you get upset, know that this wasn't me. I wouldn't burn down your meal and I tried to warn you that you're coming into a world that you don't understand. And she starts to throw these undertone right racial slurs and racial, you know, deflex to, to Charlie. And Charlie says, okay, good. Now I'm seeing the real you. Instead of holding back, say how you really feel. And you know, Francis says, it's about time, it wasn't me, but it's about time somebody checked you and put you in your place. And so Charlie, she just walks out. There's nothing else she can say. She goes back outside and she gets in the truck with Ralph Angel and she looks like she's about to hyperventilate. And she says, I can't believe we got, you know, I did that. And, and Ralph Angel said, hey, you did your best. You went in and said what you had to say. And he held, holds up a phone and he plays the recording. He basically has Miss Francis, you know, recorded, basically saying all of those things. So I'm like, oh, maybe that's a heads up. Maybe that's something that can help them in the future that she said that she she needed to be put in her place and she was kind of actually happy that the meal burned down. So then we have Nova. She shows up at Vi's restaurant with the long ass name and of course Vi's not there or she's busy. We don't see her. And Prosper says, hey, it's good to see you. And he wanted to sit down and he wanted to talk to her. And he said, you know, that story that you told about your dad that night you saw him burying something at the farm, I gotta tell you what happened that night. That night when he had that fight with the white guy that was terrorizing you guys, they fought so bad that he br basically brought out the training that he had fighting in the army and they were just wailing and beat him up so bad that they took him to the hospital and when he got back to the farm he felt so bad about it that he took off those bloody clothes and he took off that night was symbolized symbolized that night and he buried it in the farm and Nova had that look like oh and I'm like yeah girl get the facts before you go telling the world what it seemed like your, your dad was burying a, a dead body at the farm so as the viewers were relieved to know it wasn't a dead body it was just bloody clothes and he was burying his guilt and anger and everything that happened that night 
with the fight. We cut back to Ralph Angel and his boo and Darla pulls up and she's like, oh my God, Ralph Angel, I've been calling you. And she sees Ralph Angel with his new girlfriend and she goes, oh, well, hi, uh, Ralph Angel had been calling and you can see the disappointment when she sees Ralph Angel sitting with her and he introduces the two of them. And emotionally, you could tell that Ralph Angel was okay. And it was this essence that Darla was experiencing, like, wow, either he doesn't need me or he's forgotten about me. And you could just see all of the emotion just kind of leave her. And she says, you know what? I'll just leave you too. I just wanted to see if you were okay. And I'm really starting to get concerned for Darla. And of course, we have Hollywood that comes back to comfort Vi in her time of need. I said in the other review that I was really, really concerned about their relationship. Now, I know that they embraced and it looked like everything was fine, but I stand by my estimate. I really, really think that she's going to push Hollywood away. Here's why. Earlier in the season, or a little bit before um, the last season started to end, Hollywood had a discussion with his mother. And his mother was telling him, look, I know you're in this relationship. I know you want to give her the world. Look at all of the things that you're buying. Look at all the things that you're doing. But make sure you don't forget about your own dreams. I believe that is big time foreshadowing for their relationship. If you think about it, through Hollywood's and Vi's relationship, it's pretty much always been about her. Remember that Hollywood had these dreams about developing his own business and starting to do things and purchase things that he always wanted, but he put that on the back burner for Vi. The restaurant, the traveling, the wedding she wanted, all of these things he put to the side. And once again, he's putting his knees to the side to come to his rescue. Now, I know that's called being a good husband, but this type of reaction and this cycle is constantly what Vi wants. And has there ever been a time where Vi says, you know what, I know we did this. Let's just stop and let's just think about a plan to start your life. Now, she mentioned it in the past, but they never sat down and thought about it together collectively, showing support for her man. It's always been about her. So I really have an estimate that they're... We're going to think everything's all to the good and they're going to lay it on us at the end of this season that Hollywood has had enough. Alf Angel and his lawyer, Boo, they're talking to the panel about why they sh he should keep this program. And they're like, look, we're concerned not only for the past employee that you had that got arrested, but we're also concerned because of the mill being burned down. You don't have the income to pay them for 40 hours a week. So we're going to look deeper into that. Charlie, she's really, really distraught because she has to let the investors know, the farmers know, that the mill is burned down and kind of stick it out. And they said, look, we, we took a risk being involved with your mill, and now we're out. Ralph Ainge is out. What are you going to do now? And they just walked out on her. And I thought, wow, all of the support and all the love that she gave, where are y'all going to go? To a racist mill? Where are y'all going to go? Like, y'all can't stick this out this one time, all of the times where you were out of money with the racist people and all the meals that you invested in, but you can't stick it out with this black company? I thought that was pretty selfish. It couldn't have been me, because I'm like, oh, once we get up and running, don't come back. Uh-uh. Charlie and Ralph Angel, they go to his girlfriend, Lawyer Boo. I can't think of her name. But they basically tell her, hey, we got this recording. What can we do with this? And she says, look, she didn't 100% admit that she had anything to do with the arson and Char Charlie's like well what else do we need and she says look we need evidence that they conspired to commit arson we need that specifically we can't do anything with that so Nova you know she's distraught and she calls her ex cop boo and she's just like I think I lost my family you think do you think you thought you could just show up in a time of crisis and everybody forgot what you did? No. So he tells her to breathe and it's okay. And where are you? And she says, I'm at home. So he goes to her house and he walks in and he's like, oh yeah, this is your home. Like, oh yeah, this is where I used to come. Memories when I used to cheat on my wife. Yay. So they talk about it. And as they're talking, there's a knock at the door and it's Micah. Micah is returning her key and he sees her there, him there and he's He's like, oh, you're the cop. And he's like, well, maybe I should just wear a sign that I'm the cop, but I'm not a cop anymore. And he goes to the other room. And Micah asked Nova, have you ever asked Joe Boo if he's assaulted 
uh, people of color or if he's seen he's seen other people abuse uh, people as cops. Have you ever asked him that? She's just like, no, I know his heart and with heart. And I know that he would never do a thing like that. And he's looking at her like, okay, yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ralph Angel, he has to tell the workers, look, because of the fire, I can't guarantee you guys work and I'm going to have to let you go. They're disappointed and he's handing them the last of the checks. Charlie, and she's so distraught, she goes to the mill and she has her cell phone taking pictures and she's trying to find any evidence or something. And she finally lets out this belt cry of pain because, you know, Charlie, she always tries to stay strong and, and always forthright with everybody else because she is the rock, per se. She is the glue that kind of her and Aunt Vi are the ones that keep the family together. And as she's in the midst of this cry, she hears a noise and she gets up and it's Sam Landry and he pops up and he shows up and she's like look are you here to gloat like why are you here and he says no I just came to show my respect and she says respect you don't even know what that is you don't even know what that means and he says look I just wanted to tell you that I had nothing to do with this I know I may play some games but I will never hurt you or your family she says look stop I don't believe anything you're telling me so just leave Bye. Angel and his new boo, they're sitting down and they're having dinner. And she says, look, I really appreciate that. That was a really good dinner. You really can burn. And he says, you know, it's the least I can do for everything you've done, you know, for my family, the whole case and whatnot. She says, oh, you know, that's great. And she's trying to encourage him and keep him going. And she shares a story and she says, look. I remember when it was just my daughter and I, and I was breastfeeding, and the father was gone, and I was on the verge of losing my house, and at the same time, I'm trying to study for the bar, and I remember days where I couldn't even focus because I was so exhausted from breastfeeding all night long. And she says, look, just keep going, and stop looking at the bigger picture, but have small victories and small victories until the big victory is won. And I thought that was a really good point. Sometimes it is progression and not perfection. You have to understand that. And I loved how they integrated that in what she was trying to say. And Ralph Angel says, you spend the night with me? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Nova, she's with her old cop boo. And she even cooked them some greens and they didn't got through eating and he says i just think your cooking has gotten better and you know no but she says look have you ever seen an officer or have you ever abused black people and he said no and she said well what about your colleagues and he says yeah i've seen that happen but i was a coward and i did nothing about it and, and nova just takes it so lightly like oh we learned from our past really he would have had to kick rocks and get out like like, I, I wouldn't trust him after that. Then cut to Darla. It's late night, and Darla calls Ralph Angel, and you can tell she's been crying all night long because her pillow is soaked with tears. And she calls him and like, hey, how you doing? And Ralph Angel's like, oh, I'm fine. And she's just asking random questions, and I thought, oh, my goodness. She's lonely, and she's afraid, and she's hurt, and she has all of these emotions that she's not coping and dealing with. It's like, I don't think once she's called her sponsor to talk about what's been going on, she thinks that just because she has her sobriety under wraps that she doesn't need to call anybody for help. No, 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 big mistake. So she calls him and she's like, well, 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 maybe I could come over and get blue. And then Ralph Angel's like, no, he's okay. He's fine here, he's asleep. It was like she was just fishing for a reason to come over and to see Ralph Angel because seeing him with the new woman and him going through what he was going through and she's had this pile up of emotions and she's not handling them one at a time. So really worried about her. The last scene, and I'm happy to brag that the last review, episode seven, I said, and even way before that, I said that I predicted that Charlie's new boo would find out that Charlie was responsible for making those workers work during the hurricane, and he found out. And I knew it. I said, oh, he came in there with some proof. He had it in his hand. And he was just like, tell me this isn't so. And she said, yeah, I mean, it's my fault. You know, I, I thought they could keep working. And he's just looking at her like, 
Like she was just evil. Like he, he just couldn't believe what he was hearing. It was like he saw her as just, just the portrayal. And he asked her, why didn't you ever say anything? And she just said she was embarrassed and she didn't know what else to do. But I saw that coming. I knew it was coming, so I was right on that. I, I hope I'm not right about Hollywood and Vi's relationship, but I really think his mom, Hollywood's mom, saying that in a previous episode is writer's foreshadowing of their relationship. His dream has been sent to the side, and Vi is living it up with Vi's prize pies and diner, honey, and whew, that can push somebody away. So, anywho, on the side notes, for the new episode, we see Charlie's a mess, we see that Nova meets the cousin that her mother never mentioned that she learned was her cousin on the television show through a genealogy G test. I think there was good reason, Nova, why your mother never mentioned this cousin. Ooh-wee. Dirt, dirt, dirt. It's coming, y'all. It's going to come full circle like a boomerang, and I'm nervous about that. We see Charlie drinking. We see Darla's in bad shape. It's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Let me know what you think. This show is like the modern day, like, what, good times or something? It's sad. Can we get something happy? I mean, please. But hopefully it'll be some big payoff at the end of this season. At the end of this season, I don't think it's going to be good. I think it's going to get worse. And maybe some lightning up next season, maybe mid-next season. It's not going to be such a Hollywood and, and Disney turnaround of a happy ending. Not going to come anytime soon. Just my opinion. What do you think? Comment, subscribe if you like this video. Check out the other videos. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts. And follow me on Instagram. Same profile name, officialbun underscore E. See you next time. Bye.